Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for Tuesday, November the 2nd, and starting with the FTSE here, just to point out too that the FTSE uh, had this low in nearly a month earlier than uh, than the uh, Stock 50 and the DAX, which was around uh, the beginning of October, 6th of October or something, so a slightly different uh, count. Um, I may have to... Um, adjust it but uh, I won't do that just yet and we'll just allow this to play out so as it stands at the moment we've got one and two here and three and four and five if this was going to change in line with the other markets then this would be wave one to the upside over here so we can just put that there as a variant uh, of this and let's just go to the one hour chart in this case so we're looking at probably one and two and three maybe another little high in here and then we're going to have a correction at this point so just be mindful um, of that okay if we've if we get a classic trading levels pattern on top of the 300 which is the top of minor group one well then we'll move from that point but um all in all we're expecting a correction uh coming in here so the high may be in here i don't think so one and two one two three yeah look it could be on that high there or there can be just another little high but just be a bit careful about going long here if we were going to go long here then we would need a classic trading levels pattern at that level and we don't have that yet we're just we're just in the arrival stage <clears throat> uh the stock 50 so with the stock 50 this is the same as the s p 500 count roughly speaking in that we're looking from wave four here looking up for wave one and two and then we'll go from two to three to four to five to make wave five intermediate wave five once again here this little move up here is just about exhausted as well i won't go in here and look at it here but just understand that we're very very close to a top so getting to 4300 here uh, also minor level also minor group one as well uh here for this and then we'll look for uh this uh retracement level area through here so um be very careful about holding uh large long pos positions at that number you know um because at the end of the day <clears throat> we'd want to see to trade long you know, because if we get support on the 300 here that means that we're leaving this number here and we and uh yeah so but we would need we would need a pattern like this here at least some sort of some some sort of pattern classic trading levels pattern sitting on that level there a little bit like this here the bit long gated in this case we had the arrival here and you know it took all this time to get over there to get to get this happening but that would have been the trade from that point uh, and then trading to the next number and getting out and then waiting for the next setup here for that <clears throat> but I won't go into that and we've probably got trades on there on the intraday but I just want to focus on the DAX so on the daily chart here it gives you a little bit of an idea of uh, where we're heading with this market and you know this is to me is also in line with the uh, US markets as well so we're looking really from that way four to this way five here that's the bigger picture <clears throat> and yeah i mean it's all pretty straightforward um we're near the top of wave one we'll go in and um look at that and also two with wave two here now it's typical that wave two pulls back 61.8 percent of the length of wave one that's kind of textbook stuff but wave two can pretty much do a lot of things it can pull back to one point to, into this low here it may only pull back 38 40 percent rather than 62 percent you know so there's a lot that goes on with this wave too it just depends on the sentiment in the market and you know news and all sorts of things that can rock the boat so to speak so what we can say about it is that wave two is a zigzag pattern so it's an a wave a b wave and a c wave here and it's that simple it's a zigzag and the a wave here that's going to have five waves in it 
So we'll be able to track that. The B wave, it may be simple. It's just got three waves in it, but it could be complicated. It could have a triangle in the B wave here. So a little A, B and C. So the B wave could be quite complicated. The wave A could be in three waves or five waves. So there's some variation that goes into that, but that should pull back 50, 60%. And then we'll get another five waves down at that point. So it should be quite an easy uh, pattern to track except in this little section here so we should be able to nail the low here and trade long again like I said where that is if that's at the 50% or the 61.8% or the 78.6 or any of those FIBO things or anything else um, I don't know but this is what we'll be tracking okay so that's how I'm going to do it. Um, let's cruise in and concentrate on the this trend and the end of this trend. So as it stands at the moment, we're looking at wave one and two and three and four, and well, going up for five here for this uh, to make wave one, and then we're looking to pull back for wave two. So on the hourly chart, uh, it's just in here for this. So uh, yeah, we need to understand this little trend uh, here. So we'll go to the intraday where we left off yesterday. And then we're looking for this, the A, the B. Um, we can put that over there, we don't need that. There's also a level missing there as well, which I would like to put in because it's part of group two and that's the 650 or 15, 650 in that case. Whoops, a daisy to jump there into the devil's territory, triple six. I mean, it's funny the triple six being a, a devil's sort of number, really, because it's just really the golden mean and the golden ratio, you know, the horns of the uh, cow or the, the goat and all the rest of it. You know, it's just all Fibonacci mathematics of keeping the pagans away. I mean, yeah, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, religion, it's like politics, isn't it? It's kind of uh, keeps, us, keeps us occupied anyway. That's the main thing. Keeps us out of trouble. Um, radio. So, um, yeah, sorry, back on track. We need to uh, understand that point, uh, that structure. So, deep dive into the tick world. Let's go bring in a bit more data. data. Um, okay, so don't worry about that too much um, because we don't need to. It's just a working chart, so to speak. So we've got, we've been this we, Friday, Monday, we've been working one and two here and then one and two, one, two, three, four, five. So I need to sharpen this up a little bit. That was there, that's there, that we're looking for the top of the third there. We're looking for the fourth there. Um, so there we are. So we're coming into the, so there is another high by the looks of it. I'm just, I have to do this very conservatively here, I think. I may have to adjust this as well, I think. Because we want to make a new high above that high there. That's what we want to do. So maybe, you know, maybe we can with this as one and two here and three and four and five. It'd just be... A little bit careful. I mean, or, I mean, we could have that as the top, or we could have that as wave one. That's what I don't know at this point. So it's something that we'll need to uh, work through. I'll just um, check it out. Where's the S and P five hundred? Um, down here somewhere. Yep. So with the S and P here, we've got wave one and two here, but you probably know that already. Let's just go to the tick chart here. I just want to see what we've done here as well. Okay, so yeah, we're on the same. Okay, so there's a bit more, yeah. Okay, so a bit, yeah. So, yeah, so we'll probably look at the DAX with all of that as wave one and two at that point. So we'll probably look at all of this as wave one and two here for that. But still, just be a bit mindful about that. We'll put that over there.
So when that top comes in here, one, two, three, four, five, what we can do is we can look at that low and that high, wherever that may be, and that will bring us in back into the 50, 60%. So if you're holding long positions at that point, there's a 61.8% there. So if you're holding long positions at that point or looking to get in, we don't want the 15,800 as the resistance at that point, because that would be, that would be where it goes down from at that point. Okay, so we can allow for some type of thing here, but then we need to push up at that point into wave three. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah. Well, I suppose you could go long here and keep the stop down here somewhere that that would be the risk on that but surely we had trades in here somewhere anyway not to matter that's the story that's the John Dory story so um, yeah we want that one there we don't want that one so just to recap this a little bit we'll just go back to uh, the four hour chart should do the trick so that's where we are or rather that's where the market is so yeah how far that pulls back that's uh, another story but I w always wanted to leave that trend line in here because as I mentioned before um, it will play out and it's probably the low for wave two at that point there as well but first of all too, we have to confirm you know I mean don't take my word for that being the top there what we need to get is we need to look for a little impulse wave down here to con start to confirm that and then we need to build the case on that because you know we have to have uh, plan b in a way we need to know you know if this is wrong here and this just goes up for one and pulls back for two uh, and heads up higher then we need to be all over that as well so uh yeah so anyway um after those five waves there if you're long in all of this then it's a proper good idea to take money off the table at that point or at least you know whatever you need to at that point yeah i don't think i need to add any more to that that's all good Alrighty, thanks for tuning in much appreciated cheers